Okay, here we are in DOS. I want to play a classic adventure game. Castle.exe. This is Castle Adventure made by Kevin Bells. But because it only runs in DOS, I want to recreate it here in Unity with Adventure Creator. Uh, here I am in the beginning of the game at the castle courtyard. I can go up one room. Here's the entrance room. And if I switch back into Unity, you can see those are the two rooms that are set up right here. Here is the courtyard. And, of course, if the player moves up, there's the entrance room. And we can see that one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see what we got. There's 22 items in the game. I have those all put out on the table right here. You can see the same uh, items from the original DOS game here. But here they are in 3D. I have them all just here in the entrance room for testing purposes. And if the character moves up here uh, towards the entrance room, there is enemies in the game. There's a snake right here. So before I, before I head up there, I'm going to have to get a weapon. There we go. And now that I have the sword, if I put it onto the player, I can equip it. And I'm ready for combat now. So find a snake here and so he can attack me I can attack him some of the combat AI uh, could use some work but it's the basics are working if you know a good combat uh, AI package let me know but I've killed the snake so I'm gonna go ahead and put the sword away and you can see I got damage there. There's, there's a red uh, overlay on the screen here. So my health is low. Um, what I'm going to need to do... There's a bunch of items in the game. Of course, I can only carry up to six items. So I'm going to pick up just a couple of items. The flask, the helmet, the holy cross. And so I have a bunch of items. What I can do here to get my health restored is fill up my flask here at the fountain and once I got my flask filled up this works as a potion a health potion so that will restore my health and of course clear up the red overlay that was on the screen and in addition to uh, being able to equip items of course like the sword um, you can also just drop them anywhere that isn't an interaction like this but anywhere into the world and the player will go ahead and drop that because you can only carry up to six items just like the original DOS game in your inventory you can only carry six items uh, so you need to be able to at any time reach out and drop item out of your bag so I'm gonna empty out my inventory here and then, of course, at any time, you could click on those items to pick them back up as long as you have space in your inventory. And with the camera system, it's using Cinemachine and Timeline uh, to follow the player around. So for areas like the front gate to the castle here, when you walk over here, uh, it's going to transition into a static shot where you can kind of see the main front gates you have to get that gate open to escape from the castle um, but that's only in specific areas other than that the camera's gonna follow the player around and again another example of Cinemachine and timeline at work is right here walking through this area the camera moves down to follow the player through that archway and then if I walk over this way towards the corner of these rooms uh, it's kind of hard to see into these corners so the uh, camera will transition into a, another position um, where it's looking at the player so I could see him over here in the corners of course it's not perfect right this second I'm clipping through the wall right there uh, I need to I need to refine it and get it perfect here but you can see that uh, the camera system is using Cinemachine uh, to follow the player around and transition between different areas 
A good example of that again is the front gate right over here. So, so Cinemachine for the camera system to follow the player or using Adventure Creator to make the adventure game. Final IK to do interactions uh, and procedural animations such as picking up items from the world like that. That's being handled by Final IK. And of course, we're mixing that with traditional FBX animations. Um, for example, this one here where the character's filling up the flask with water. So stay tuned for updates. There was uh, tutorials on the channel for how this is being built. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.